Hi guys and welcome to this uh, fifth installment of the But How Do It Know companion video series and today we're going to be looking at the concept of an enabler. So if you remember in the last video we constructed this one bit memory uh, circuit that I have right here and it consisted basically of an input, a set signal and an output. Uh, today we're going to introduce in this circuit an enabler which can allow us to control when something is going to be coming out of the output of our circuit uh, in order to be able to uh, synchronize it with maybe other circuits. So in the book uh, the concept of enabler is represented as a series of eight uh, AND gates that receive a common E uh, signal and um, or else for the other inputs of each of the AND gates uh, it's um, the output of uh, a byte. In our case we're not going to build an entire byte because like I mentioned before it would take a lot of space so we're going to just build a one bit enabler and add it to our circuit. We're also going to add um, some push buttons to um, make it easier to control the set and uh, enable uh, uh, portions of our circuit. So basically when this is done what we'll have constructed is uh, the equivalent of a one bit register. So um, I'm gonna go uh, off and build this now and I'll be right back. Okay so I set up our test bench here and um, there's quite a lot going on so uh, I'm gonna go through it. Uh, first of all, our I signal here has been connected uh, using this shorter wire. Our S signal that used to come in here is now connected to this push button. I will talk about the push button operation a bit uh, later. In the middle we still have our 1-bit memory and its output is, uh, or the O signal, is uh, going through this blue wire here. We added a new 7400 chip that is configured as an AND gate exactly la like we did in video 3. So this AND gate uh, receives as one input the output of the one bit memory. The second input is connected to this push button here and its output goes to the LED. So this will in fact be the enabler for our one bit memory. Uh, the way push buttons work is um, there are two independent connections uh, like this and when you press on it uh, they are they become connected together so in fact what's happening here is you have a connection to ground coming through and uh, going through this wire here and when you press on the button uh, these two sides will be connected together and uh, one signal coming from the power will take over and uh, start going through this uh, the wire here. So you will have a wire coming out when you're not pressing and a one when you're pressing. And this happens because of this resistor here that we've put here and we, it will let uh, the power go through uh, when they are connected if the power is greater, uh, has a greater current than uh, is configured for this uh, resistor. Uh, when you use a resistor in this fashion, it's called a pull-down uh, resistor. In this case, we're using a 10K ohms resistor. Uh, we did the same thing on this side. I just uh, flipped it around because I'm using this side of the button as uh, the input. So if we uh, connect this... So the idea with this kind of circuit is you set an input, you you, you set an input value, you set it using the button, and when you want to let it out, you press the enabler. So in this case, we're connected to ground, so we're going to set our memory um, to zero. And if we press here, nothing should be coming out because, uh, in fact, uh, it is zero. Now we'll change our input to one. Use the set button. So now we should have one captured inside our one bit memory and it should get out when we press here. So we see the LED turning on, 
so the circuit is uh, has captured the one value. Uh, we're going to see as we move forward that this concept of enabling something and then set it into something else is going to happen a lot in um, what we're going to build. So it's it's important to understand how it works. Uh, in the book, in the diagram on page 41, uh, you can see uh, the byte connected to the enabler and those two things together uh, comprise a, a register, an 8-bit register. Uh, we're going to use a special chip to uh, act as a register in uh, in our project. So uh, that's what we're going to be looking at uh, in the next video. So we'll look at our register chip and we will we'll also talk about its enabler, which will operate a bit differently than what uh, we've got going on here. So uh, we'll talk about that. I'll see you soon. <laughs>